Okay, today's video, I'm just going to be sharing a couple of new items I have and some I have used already and absolutely love. I think I've used them all except for one, to be honest with you. And I haven't worn every single color in one of the others. Okay, okay. First up, I wanted to share that Dean Davidson has a new stone and he has a little special going on for Valentine's Day. I already talked about it in my get ready with me but if you don't watch my get ready with me which i don't know why you don't um i wanted to share again so he has a brand new stone which is in rose quartz and you can get the plaza ring in it it's a really beautiful beautiful stone and it has a bracelet which is a stretch bracelet which makes it very easy for arthritic hands to put on and he also has his signature earrings in the rose quartz. These are beautiful, an everyday earring for me. I just love them. And of course, the necklace, which I have all of these on in my last video. This is the signature necklace. It is just beautiful. And these are in the midi. There is large and there is also small. I like to wear um, all three in my one ear. Okay. And I did want to bring, I brought my plaza ring in his other pink, just so you can see the difference in so them. the milky one is the rose quartz. And this other one is his other pink stone. I will put it in an annotation. It's escaped me at this moment, but the plaza ring is beautiful. It's his most popular ring. I just think it's so easy to wear. It can be elegant. And you know, I never really thought about it and I'd have to ask Dean, but on the sides of the plaza ring, that may be a D for Dean Davidson. I don't know. If not, I just discovered something for you, Dean. <laughs> While I'm talking about Dean, now these aren't new. I purchased these and with my halo, wearing my hair as it's growing out of my head, silver and white, uh, I need to change some of my jewelry over. So uh, I purchased these in the silver. They are the signature earring in the blue. And I have to make myself not wear these because I just love the combination. They, are, they would be beautiful with this, but I wanted to share another pair of earrings that I purchased recently. But these are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So don't forget that Dean also has many of his collections also in silver. And these I got around uh, just before the holidays and I never really shared them. They are beautiful. It's the, they're a small hoop with a pave on the end and they are just gorgeous. I find myself wearing these as well all the time. I'm not sure if these come in a silver, but if they do, they will probably land in my jewelry box soon. And for the Valentine Day Rose Quartz special, uh, while supplies last, you can also get the BK Beauty True Beauty eyeshadow palette for free with your purchase. I use this all the time. I've used it in several tutorials. It really is nice because it's a, a combination of satin and matte finish. So you would get that free while supplies last with your purchase. All right, mascara I'm wearing is the Pat McGrath. I used it in my last tutorial. This is the same look from that tutorial. This is the mascara which has been on for a while now. I have no flaking and no transfer so far. I really, I love the brush. I love the size of it. I just got it on my hand there, but I love the size of it. It goes on easily. It builds nicely. So this was a win for me. Another thing that I demonstrate in that tutorial and this is something that I would have not purchased myself. I would have walked right by it, but my niece was buying it. And it is the Brow Freeze from Anastasia. Now I have it in today, and then I have the tinted brow over it. But if you have burly, unruly eyebrows, this is worth a try. But make sure you watch my tutorial on how to use it so you don't overuse it. But it really, you can place your eyebrows exactly where you want them. Uh, new sponge that I have in my arsenal is from Refer. This is really a nice sponge. I use it just like I use all of my other ones. I will say this one is really, 
It's nice. It's very, very nice. And I applied all of my makeup today with the sponge, again, from Refer. And my eyes. This is a new eyeshadow palette with my hair going white silver. I am able to venture into the cool neutrals, which I'm sure will make many of you happy because I've always been a warm girl. And that may not do any good for some of you cool girls. But now I can pretty much wear... Um, many different palettes. So this one here is the Cool Neutrals. And today I am wearing this one, this one, and this one on my eyes. I love these. I have two other, uh, I have the, it's kind of a plummy one, and then I have the uh, Warm Neutrals. Love, love, love them. And they're Dior shadows, they're just, they're exquisite. Okay, my um, lips. These are fabulous. They are from Pat McGrath, and I'll say it again, I'm quite impressed with Pat McGrath's, some of her items. And this one here that I'm wearing right now is a Boudoir Rose. Beautiful. Let me freshen it up. It is a balm. I find myself very attracted to balms, even over lipstick now. I think they are more youthful on the mouth. Only problem is if you have lip lines, deep lip lines, they are going to travel a little. I think most lip glosses or balms do. I think some lipsticks do. I do put a liner on, put a little powder over it to help secure it. And I do find that I get better wear of, out of them when I am wearing a liner. So that is the Boudoir Pink. And then the next one, zoom lens, need it. The next one is the Nude Venus. I love this one as well. And I find that I will even top a lipstick with this one. It's just beautiful. They have the right amount of shimmer. They don't have any sparkle in them, which I don't like. I don't like anything that has a glitter chunk in it. Um, I've tried the Buxom and they leave glitter behind. I don't like that. I think that accentuates age on my mouth. So this is the Nude Venus. And the last color is Electric Lotus. And these are the Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. I've talked about them before, but I, I feel the need to share them again. This is just beautiful. This is more your corally pink. Perfect if you're like me, transitioning. You need a little more color. We just need a little more color. And you'll notice this is a little more coral. This is a little more blue pink, which I could never wear before and I can now. So I wanted to make sure that I shared those. Absolutely love them. And you know that I absolutely love the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Serums. I have so many of them. I think there's about 15 sitting in front of me over here. I love them. I need more colors, so they need to create more colors. But they did come out with their lip balm, which is different than their lip glow serum. And I know many will ask me, well, which one of the Fit Glow are your favorites? I'm going to say the glosses still. I love them, love them, love them, love them. But, you know, I like to try different things because some women like more than a gloss. So this here, the first color I'm going to share with you is Beet. And they come in a tube that looks similar to like a chapstick. And you just wind it up and it does wind down. Wind it up and you can just apply. Now this one has a lot of color payoff to it. And it is beet. It's like a raspberry plum. Really, really pretty. And it's perfect for me because I need that color on my lips. The other one is Cala or Calia. I think it's Cala, C-A-L-L-A -L -L -A or C-L-I-A. My Zoom Nuns is not picking up that last L or I. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what the color is. Now this one's a little more to the peachier tone. Again, just beautiful. They are really, really pretty. Next we have Happy, which is a paler pink with a little tiny bit of peach to it. And there is that one. Definitely more blue than the Cala. And last but not least of the ones I have, I do believe there are more in the collection. And this is Alina. And this one is definitely a little more peachy. I, all of these I wear and they're all very comfortable on the lips. So there is the last one. It's definitely a peachier tone. 
Good color selection there. And these you can get on Freeze Co Beauty and you can use Tammy 20 to save on the new balms from Fit Glow Beauty. All right, next. And the next I was sent from Eau Naturel and this is Rachel Anise. Many of you may know her on Instagram as the beauty professor. And I believe this is her second or third collaboration with Eau Naturel. And it is a lip gloss and she, she loves, loves trench coats. So the name of it is Trench Coat. And it is a peachy pink. And this one is a little more of a matte finish, but not so drying that it's going to age your mouth. And it smells like fruit. Well, now but this, this is going to be longer wearing for you. But it's a really, really pretty color. So congratulations on your collaboration, Rachel. Everything will be listed and linked below for you. And last of the beauty products, uh, this is from Briogeo. And you all know that I absolutely love their avocado kiwi mask. If you have not tried it, it is a must, my friends. If you are someone who always misses out on the Colleen Rothschild mask, you need to try this. I will not be without either one of these masks. I love it. It is protein free, so is Colleen's. So it is so going to do nothing but hydrate the hair. But it does it in a way where it doesn't take shine off, it doesn't weigh the hair down. I actually used it on my hair today. The shine is incredible. Um, it just, and I have some very, very dry hair from here to here because that was bleached a little bit. And this hair here has been struggling and I use that mask on it and it just brings it to life. Absolutely love it. Well, when I got COVID last year in June, I had COVID from June, I had COVID for several, several weeks and it was horrible. And a lot of people have experienced hair loss after COVID. Well, I thought I was kind of home free. No, about six months after COVID, I started to shed heavily. My hair really has thinned out a lot. Now I was kind of proactive because I knew it was a possibility. So I started taking pumpkin seed oil. I started ramping up on my rosemary oil, uh, scalp massages. And I just really focused on massages altogether on my scalp. When I wash my hair, I take more time. I really focused on scalp health and keeping my scalp really, really clean and just treating it really, really well. I would put uh, the oils on and then maybe put my heating warm cap on just to warm my scalp up a little bit. And I think it has really helped. The shedding has really slowed down a lot. But I saw this and I first bought the shampoo, which I have tried, but they were sold out of the conditioner. So this is the Briogeo Destin for Destiny, caffeine and biotin peptide density shampoo. So I just gave it a try and the shampoo is really, really nice. These are very nice hair products. They don't have any jump in, junk in them, no harsh sulfates, silicones or parabens in them. So I was finally able to get the conditioner. I want to smell it. And it smells, it's very mild. It doesn't have a strong scent. But I was able to get the conditioner. I have not tried it yet. But so far, the Briogeo hair care products that I have tried, I have loved all of them. I really have. I haven't tried the whole line, but I've tried a lot of them and uh, they have all been really nice. Now I do have my favorites and that mask, I'm telling you, run, don't walk, trust me on it. It is the best hair mask and it smells fruity like a kiwi. Just in case you're very sensitive to smells, it really, I think it has a really pleasant, easy smell. So it is great and I'm hoping that these are as well. I also started taking a supplement Along with my collagen peptides in my smoothie every morning, I started taking, again, Joelle had introduced me to these many, many years ago and I took them for years. My nails are all of a sudden growing really, really well. And uh, I do think it's the um, Fito. In the US we call it Phyto, but it's actually Fito. And I'm taking their hair and nail vitamins as well. So I'm hoping that the shedding will stop 
and uh, my hair will start to thicken up. Now I'm hoping that when the new hair grows in, it stays white. I, I don't want it to go back to mousy brown or anything like that. I want it to stay white. All and right. last but not least, I have a new shirt and earring that I wanted to share with you. These are from Chico's and uh, I just thought these were really, really cute. They are like threaded and they have beads around the edge and they almost look like they're bamboo but they're not they're very light I think I they are a great color combination if you're wearing all denim or white or anything that needs a pop of blue just really really pretty earrings I think they also came in a silver with a black bead around them and this t-shirt is possibly the most comfortable t-shirt I have ever worn. I'm going to stand up and show you. Let me get up and let me just take this off. Let me back up slightly. I have my exercise pants on. So the top just has a light detail to the sleeve. The fabric is unbelievable. It comes in white and black. I'm going back and I'm getting the white and the black because that's how I am. If I find something that's comfortable and I feel looks good on me and I really feel good in I'm gonna get it in a couple of shades so I'm gonna get it in all of the shades I did get I believe it's a zero I'll put the size below uh, I've had to go on I've had to go down in one size at Chico's so uh, I can't remember if it's a one or a zero but it fits me perfectly and it has a soft flow to it it's really, really a comfortable shirt, and I just love the color. I think it's beautiful. I think it's feminine. You know, I, I love, I love t-shirts, but I don't like them real masculine or boxy, and I think the sleeve just really gives it a little, that pretty touch to it, and I love things that are soft and flowing. You can tuck it in uh, a little bit to one side if you prefer to break the line up, but I actually think it looks beautiful. And I just, I have my exercise pants on right here, but I just think it, it's just a pretty, pretty top. And, and like, like I, I said, I'm going to be getting it in the white and the black because I just love it. All right, my friends, so that is it for my new items. If there's anything that you have been using that is new and really surprised you and you absolutely love it, share it with us down in the comments. We love reading from you and we, we want to go out and buy whatever you love as well. So that is so, it for today's video. If you haven't already subscribed, you know I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. Hit the subscribe button right next to it as a bell. That'll let you know of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, ladies, it is okay to love our age. I love you all. Bisous.